Alright, this is a reading for Aaliyah. It is a weekly reading um, called The Fates, Oracles, and the Cloud Cards. Um, mostly talks about the, your past, present, and future of a situation or personal life kind of thing. And then we have the Cloud Cards, which will clarify what exactly it is or what um, position you're taking on it, and then we'll have the oracle cards, um, give advice and what you should do in the current in order to make, um, future things happen or not happen, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, we'll start your reading with the Four of Swords. This is the past, um, card. Um, a need to recite Respite from problems, meditation, rest, or retreat. So you might have um, kind of taken a more um, pacifist kind of thing towards problems and conflict in general in the past. The Emperor in reverse, too much control, um, structural structural, um, stability, rules, power, stuff like that, um, in the present, might need to, um, let go of the reins a little bit, um, the ace of wands, the ace of wands is the future one, but it's, it's in reverse, um, it would be good if it wasn't, um, the Ace of Wands in Reverse is missing an opportunity. Um, not the right time, new beginnings, creative spark, uh, for fertile ideas. Um, you might have a lot of ideas, but nothing's happening, nobody's taking your ideas, and it's kind of all for naught. So you kind of might want to rein those back, keep a journal. When it is the right time, you'll have all those things, so just keep that in mind. Okay, and the past element from the Clow cards is the Bubbles card. It's a cool card. Um, the Bubbles card is the Two of Diamonds, purification of emotions, breaking away from a vicious cycle. So, um, that's probably why you retreated. Um, you wanted to stay neutral. You wanted to... <laughs> be Switzerland for once. You wanted to be Geneva Convention. Um, and that's fine. That's that's you. You need time to blow off. You needed to relax. You didn't need anybody else's drama. And then you have the lock. The lock in the present. Um, it's represented by the Six of Diamonds. Intelligence, inner awareness of truth. So you're kind of keeping it tightly wound um, present. So you, you have a lot of control over what can and cannot be talked about, maybe. Maybe the situation is all your own, and it's kind of your problem to worry about, and that kind of thing. So you know what it is, what's going on, and that kind of deal. So you just kind of don't want to talk about it. Um, and that's probably why there's a tight rein on it. <sighs> okay, uh, the return. The return is the Ten of Clubs. A second chance, never give up. Um, so, yeah, I would just keep a journal because this is in the future. Um, nobody's really going to be taking your ideas. They might have their own ideas. They might, you know, not really be open to opinion. Um, but I would keep a journal because keeping certain ideas in, as I've experienced myself, becomes a bit of a hassle. So keep a journal. That's all I can say. Okay, um, and your oracles are tenderness. Tenderness. Um, someone in your life is in need of some tender, loving care. Take some time out of out to spend some time with that person. Listen to what they have to say with compassion, with the compassion in your heart. You will benefit from these moments of tenderness. So, 
you might need to take some time out for somebody else. Which is not always a bad idea. Um, reflection. Reflection. Reflect on what you've accomplished today. Remember what you have, what you were like five years ago. Look back and realize just how far you've come. Acknowledge that every single one of your experience has helped you get where you are right now and serve you well in some way, shape, or form. So remember that. Because there could have been a lot of things that you forgot, a lot of memories that you may have not considered until now. And, you know, some people never reflect. Um, and they forget where they came from and they lose themselves and activities and things. So it's always good to go back to childhood memories, maybe family that may have passed on and find all the happy memories of them and, you know, just remember where he came from. And then we have Dare to be Different. Dare to be different. Um, think outside the square and you will unlock your unique potential. Be a leader, not a follower. Dare to be different. So it might be time for you to kind of <laughs> do your own thing. Um, maybe start your own business, um, maybe start a new project, a new hobby, um, or, you know, just start something that you, um, may have not considered before. It might do you well. Um, and then we have friendship. Um, friendship. An unlikely friendship is about to blossom and will bring you unexpected laughter, joy into your life. Be open to meeting new people and remember, just be yourself. So you might be meeting some new friends um, soon enough and they might be a little bit different from what you uh, usually hang out with. But, um, you know, it's a learning experience. And, um, you may meet, like, somebody who's really, like, eccentric or on your same wavelength in some things, and some things they may see different. So, always good to keep it open. Anyway, if you like this reading, leave a like. Um, if you like this format with the cloud cards, the tarot cards, and the oracle cards, leave a like, and I might do this at a later date. Um... And if you like what I'm doing on YouTube, subscribe. And if you have any questions, concerns, or ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below and I will read those. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.